Eminem, Justin Timberlake, NSYNC. No, no, I only, I only like Justin. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's horrible. And the Spice Girls. I was gonna say the other people I dressed up as were the Spice Girls. I went through different stages. I was baby first, then I was sporty, and then I was ginger. They were like the only girls that I kind of like dressed up as. I was dressed up a lot of the time when I was a kid. It was always men, because I just didn't feel like there were many like strong superhero type like women, apart from like Wonder Woman, like, you know, which is good, but it's like, I don't want to be a five year old running around in like a bikini. Did I audition for Suicide Squad? Oh, I'm American, shit, sorry. Did I audition for Suicide Squad? Yes, I did. I met David uh, in, in, on a dark and stormy night in a hotel in London. He was so mysterious, didn't tell me anything about the movie, just kind of described this character to me, this kind of crazy witch-like force, and just kind of spoke, in, spoke to me about different things like addiction and mental illness, which are things that I find very, very interesting indeed. And then I got the movie and it was really, really crazy. When I was going to the countryside, he asked me to try and find a forest and if it was a full moon, to get naked and walk through the forest with my feet in the mud. I, I howled like a wolf. I was really, I was, <laughs> now I think back on it, it would have been really funny if someone had seen me. Like a sexual love scene? Yeah. I find, I find sex scenes in movies so ridiculous because who has sex like that? I don't know if it was my favorite sex scene, but it was definitely, I think the movie captured and the lead up to that sex scene was so amazing was Carol. The, the like awkward reading into every movement and, and look and gaze and touch and overthinking every aspect of it. Just the whole thing made me want to have a panic attack. <laughs> it was wonderful. My earliest memory. Okay, I have two. One of them. One of them is when they're both about cut. Oh my God, that's hot. They're both about cutting myself. That sounds so dark. I really didn't mean it like that. Used to watch my dad shaving and I used to find it really fascinating. So I used to always, I'd go after he'd left the bathroom, go and cover my face in shaving foam. And with the end of like a moisturizer bottle, it's got a really hard edge, I would pretend to shave. But then one time I got his razor and I ran it along the bottom of my finger and just cut my finger off. And then the other time, what are those things called, those knives that you push up? No. Jack knife? I was watching the Flintstones and I was playing with the jackknife and I pulled the jackknife the other way. Instead of pushing it up, I pulled it down into my hand. Why are these the memories that I have? I'm really concerned. I was really obsessed with death as a child and blood and things, so maybe that's why.